Hello YouTubers, um, this piece is not hunting or fishing, um, this is an opinion piece, it involves politics and other things, so um, it's my opinion, uh, I can pretty much guarantee YouTube won't agree with it, in fact I'll be surprised if they leave it up, but uh, I think there's some things about the government and world organizations that bother me very much and I think they should bother you uh, so I'm going to start off with the W H O you know who they are right World Health Organization that's Bill Gates outfit you know they're the ones who are supposed to be looking out for our health and welfare and all that you know well, of course, Joe Biden, in his infinite wisdom, signed over um, the leadership rights to determine what is or isn't a medical emergency to them. So now they decide, not the United States, you know, because, of course, in my opinion, uh, Joe Biden and Obama and all the other people involved uh, pulling strings or whatever are they're globalists. They want global control. And uh, anyway, they have plans, and the media is not going to tell you. They don't want to tell you about them. So I'll tell you about them. You can find the information. It's kind of hard to look up, but it's out there. <clears throat> okay, they have plans to uh, have a deadline of like a hundred days or something from when they detect some sort of illness to when they need to have the vaccine out. And not only that, but everyone will be required to take it, whether you want to or not. Hmm, guess that might make me an outlaw. Oh, but, oh, I didn't say anything. But uh, anyway, so you'll be required to take it, and you know how, how well the jab worked, uh, the COVID vaccine worked, of course. Um, I'm not saying it was always negative, because there were positive results, but uh, it didn't go quite the way that uh, we expected. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, not only that, but they want to go as far as to eliminate the First Amendment of our Constitution, you know, freedom of speech, free speech, they want to get rid of that. So you're not allowed to say what's on your mind if it disagrees with their narrative. And they also want to abolish your civil rights. So basically, it'll be like a monarchy and we'll be subjects, maybe even worse. Uh, it's kind of like Communism 101, you know. They want to tell us everything to do. Everything that we do, every aspect of our lives will be controlled by them. They, of course, want to uh, reduce the population to an extreme low number. Um, of course, they're part of the global warming people. You know, they want to eliminate... Um, cattle farming and all that stuff, which is ridiculous. None of this stuff was a problem in the past. So, in my opinion, I just got to remind you, it's my opinion. Uh, do me a favor, please, and, and hit a like, unless, of course, you don't like it. But uh, the more likes I get, it'll keep it up. It'll keep the thing on uh, through the algorithm. Okay, now that's the, not the only thing that bothers me. Of course, the WHO, that really does bother me a lot. And uh, I'm not going to take it sitting down. Oh, yeah, the other thing, too, is they want to get rid of the dollar, you know, regular cash, and go to a digital-type currency. This way, if you don't play nice, if you don't behave properly and uh, are an obedient citizen like they want, they can just turn your money off, and you can't pay for food, or pay your bills. So you better be good boys and girls, or, you know, um, non-binary or whatever you are out there. 
But, uh, you better behave or else this is what they want. Now, if someone doesn't do something about this, it's going to happen because they're, they're taking baby steps to make it happen, little by little. And another thing they're doing that's tied with this is, you notice any time a bombshell comes up about Joe Biden and his crime family, my opinion again, um, maybe they have proof of something, bribes or whatever, you notice like the next day there's a big media frenzy on something going on with Donald Trump. It's happened a lot of times. There's not that many coincidences. In fact, I don't believe in coincidences hardly at all. This is to keep you focused on Donald Trump and whatever else they want you to be focused on so that they can sneakily do other things. I'll tell you, if people don't wake up and they don't do something about this, uh, it's going to happen. And people will be going, well, what happened to our freedom? I, I don't get it. All of a sudden, we can't, we don't have any freedom. What happened? Well, what happened was we let it happen. Now, I'm not advocating violence. I'm not saying this is a call to arms. You decide. But so far, the ballot box isn't doing it. So far, we're not having very good results using the ballot box. I really hope we don't have to use the pine box. Nobody really wants civil war. Well, there might be some warmongers that, that may, but uh, civil war is awful. I mean, there's thousands of casualties, brother on brother, people killing family members because they oppose them, lots of bloodshed. It's something that's terrible. It takes years to get over. You don't, you don't really completely get over it. It's something that we really, really want to try to avoid. So we want to try to get the nation going in the right direction without any bloodshed. That's the goal. But I'm becoming less and less positive that it's going to work. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, another thing about how things are going global-wise and everything, and how we're losing our freedoms and our democracy, it's actually a representative republic. Um, my hat, okay, don't, you know, don't tread on me. About as American as you can get, you know. But this says it all right here. Made in Vietnam, a communist country. I wonder if any of the people making this hat know anything about what it's like or what America is actually about. In want to strive to live that way, you know, but they can't because they're under a communist rule. Or maybe they're totally naive and they're just putting together stuff. This outsourcing has bit us in the butt so many times. It's all about the dollar. It's all about greed. It's always the money. Always follow the money. If you're looking for who's behind stuff, follow the money. It's always the money. Also, another thing, uh, all the Congress people, senators, and so on, you know, their, their salary is way less than a million dollars per year. And yet, they're multimillionaires. They're extremely rich. Where did they get all that money? I think we need to ask that question. And we need to ask questions like, where's all that money that's going to the Ukraine? Where, what's it all going for? We need accountability. They're just throwing it out there. Who knows how much of it might be trickling back. Nice and clean. Laundered properly. And ending up in certain people's pockets. My opinion. I think the Ukraine thing is a big diversion. And yeah, I mean, there are people dying and stuff. That's awful, but... Things are not exactly what they seem. We have presidents, we have kings, queens, and all that stuff. But there's only certain, there's certain groups that are actually running this planet. 
and they're trying to run our country, and we can't let that happen. I don't want to die in my last years under communism. I don't. I've lived fairly free up to this point, and I want to continue. And I want my children and grandchildren to continue as well. And great-grandchildren, because I have some of them. Anyway, this is my opinion. This is an opinion piece. Um, I, the YouTube might take it down. They might give me a strike. I don't know. My channel's small enough, maybe they won't. In the past, I've gotten away with a few things and, 